today, we're gonna to show you how to get the most out of your skid pan day. Before we head over to the skid pan, be sure to subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with the videos that we'll be releasing in our Skid Happen series every single week. The videos cover things from our events, to the cars we build, the driving activities we get up to, as well as a whole bunch of how-tos and informative videos. Don't forget to check out all of our social media platforms. We've got skidcontrol.com.au as our website, facebook.com forward slash skidcontrol, and Instagram forward slash skid underscore control. So let's head over to the skid pack. So we're heading out onto the skid pan and we're going to take you through a couple of steps that you need to remember for when you come out to the skid pan. Now the skid pan is diesel and water so it is super slippery. Some skid pans just have water on it but this particular one is diesel and water so everything needs to be done a little bit slower. If you make your way out to a skid pan that doesn't have diesel then all you need to do is just increase the commitment to into the corners. So in order to get the car sideways, what you need to do is you need to go into the corner really slow. We generally go in at about 25 to 30 k's an hour on this skid pan. When you get to the corner, we quarter steer in and give it some power. Once we do that, the car will step out sideways on you. When you feel it step out sideways on you, all that you need to do to react to it is let go of the steering wheel and come off the power. Now we say let go of the steering wheel, it applies to about 90% of cars. Most modern cars with the electronic steering now doesn't work as well. But what we're trying to do is we're trying to steer into the slide to catch the car so that it doesn't spin out on you. So I'll show you quickly what happens if you don't do anything with the steering in the corner. So we're approaching a corner now, quarter steer on the power, holding onto the steering wheel. As you can see, we spin out completely. And that's just me holding onto the steering wheel. So what we'll do now is we'll go into a corner and this time I'll actually let go of the steering wheel and come off the power. Now speed is not a big thing on the skid pan, you really do need to go in slow. Going in fast will just make you understeer through all the corners and spin out when it snaps over on you. So slow into the corner, quarter steer on the power, when it goes sideways just let go of the steering wheel. And as you can see what it did there is it automatically turned to the left which is the way that we were sliding and it caught the car and didn't spin out. Now that's the easiest way of recovering from a slide and it actually applies to most cars. Front wheel drives, all wheel drives, rear wheel drives, they'll all do the same and in fact if your car steps out on you on the road, do the same thing, it'll catch the car. So quarter steer on the power, just let go of the steering wheel and it catches the car. Now the car goes for quite a long time on this skid pan purely because of how slippery it is but on the road what'll happen is it'll instantly catch you and flick you nice and straight again. So back into this corner, quarter steer on the power and it goes sideways on you. As soon as I let go of the steering wheel, it catches the car and it's back in straight and in control. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to quickly show you the problem with going into a corner too quickly on the skid pad. So we're going to go in at maybe about 40 to 45 k's an hour and I'm going to turn in and you'll see we'll just get a lot of understeer. So coming into this corner, 45 k's an hour and we've just got understeer. Now the car's not turning, it's not doing anything, in fact it's just washing away in front. A lot of people come to the skid pan and experience that and it's just because you're going into the corner too far. So slow it down, back down to the 25k mark, quarter steer in and give it some power. So quarter steer and on the power, let go of the steering wheel, come off the power and it catches the car. Now that we've learned how to catch the slide, what we're going to do is now move on to actually continuing the slide. To keep the car sideways, we need to keep the rear wheel spinning in this rear wheel drive car to keep us sideways while steering towards the slide to prevent us from spinning out. So we'll go into this corner and what you're going to do is you've got to be a bit patient with it. So nice and slow into your quarter steer on the power, off, catch the slide and then on the power. What you do is you get onto the power just before it feels like it's about to grip up and go the opposite way. That's why you need to recover from a few slides, get comfortable with that feeling and then get back on the power to keep that slide going. Now when you're in the slide, the steering adjustments must be kept to a minimum and the rest needs to be on the right foot. 
So if you want more angle, you give it more power. If you want less angle, you give it less power. But you also need to modulate it nice and smoothly. Don't just stab at the accelerator. Just feel what the car is doing and react to it. So nice and slow into the corner again. Quarter steer on the power. When it goes sideways, I let go of the steering wheel. And now I'm back on the power, back on the steering. And just balancing the power, balancing the steering and keeping the car sliding around the corner. When coming out of a corner and you want to straighten the car, all you need to do is slowly straighten the wheel and slowly come off the accelerator in a nice balanced fashion and it won't snap your neck. Quarter steer on the power, catch the slide, back on the power to keep the slide going. Just keep it nice and smooth all the way around the corner and then it straightens out nice and smooth again. Quarter steer on the power, off the steering, catch the car, then back on the power to keep it sliding. Now you'll hear me rev it up over there because it was just about to straighten up. I brought up the revs to keep the car sideways. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to switch between corners. Same applies to when you're starting a slide. All you've got to do is let the car flick the other way and let go of the steering wheel. So quarter steer on the power. We're in a slide now. Back on the power. Keep the car going. Now when I want to change direction, all I'm going to do is I'm going to lift off the power. Let it flick the other way. Let go of the steering wheel. Then back on the power to keep it going. Same story the opposite way. Let it go. Back on the power and keep it sliding. Let's keep the car flowing around the track. Make use of the full track. The track is nice and wide, there's a lot of water. So keep it flowing, keep the power going, and just keep it smooth. Quarter steer on the power, let go of the steering, then back on the power to keep it going. Then back on the power, just nice and smooth. Want to go the other way, let go of the power, let it flick the other way, catch it, back on the power, let it flick the other way, catch it, back on the power to keep the slide going. Now it takes a bit of practice to get it right, but all you gotta do is remember those key things and you'll get it right on the skid pan. Just remember, speed is not your friend on the skid pan. All that'll happen is it'll put you out and spin you out and give you some understeer and all the things you don't wanna do on the skid pan. We wanna slide sideways, so go in slow, use the power, get it sideways, let the steering do most of the work by itself and have fun with it. That's it from me, car's dirty, I'm dirty, I'm about to pack up and go home. We hope to see you soon at the skid pan.